Okay, so we have the um, servo connected underneath. I'll show you that in a minute. And this is the nice motion of the servo. Very happy with that. That looks lovely. And if we flip this around, you can see the servo down there doing its thing. All of that is looking really good. So now comes the exciting part of putting the planes on for the first time. Alright, this is the first assembly of the um, sail and the um, hydroplanes. And uh, I'm going to sh do this just to show you how it all works now. I've had a few different bites at it as I've gone along. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is just add some um, glad wrap to this, and you're going to wonder why, but this is all to do with the gluing and I don't want to pull it apart the second time around. So, there is this. Now this is the base that I'm going to use. This base screws onto here, plus these now hold the, and you can see I've had a couple of goes at drilling those holes. I'm shocking. I, I, I'm not sure I care that much about things that you can't see. And basically this now is going to fit onto here. That's the only thing I have to break. I now need to screw this in place. Now that's now nicely in place. We now add the uh, servo. And you can see under here I've had to drill into the, or cut into here. I've had a couple of goes at these holes because I placed them wrongly to start with. Um, I'm going to take this off. And we shall now assemble these with their screws. This is nice and firmly in place. Now it's held by those two screws plus the hull is holding the rest of it nicely. Um, I'm going to turn this on because I want to make sure that the as I set it up, that that's central, and I'll just unconnect it, disconnect it, I don't need that, that's not going to move. This little contraption now just fits through here and into the top, I'll put a screw in there at some point, and here we now have the top of the conning tower. That's pointing the right way because this is now the connector that's going to connect into the top, move up and down. If you remember, I silver soldered that on, that's just ordinary soldered. Works nicely for me. Um, this now uh, goes on to here. And I'm going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to start now by putting the hydroplanes on. I've marked them port and starboard. Now I'm going to connect up the little cup onto the end of the clearly when this is finished there's going to be a cap on here it's going to have to be removable that's it that's in place that's in place looking good. Now I'm going to uh, just power that up. Of course there's no screws in there so it's going to slip. Okay, but that's all fine. That's good. Now I need to um, add the grub screws. Surprised that stayed on. I should have used some blue tack. Never mind. Ah, oh, there we go. You see.
that's lovely. Okay, so I can now disconnect this. It's all working. Now what I want to do is glue my Perspex lid onto the top of that. So I won't show you this, but I'm going to pour some epoxy down there, missing the screws, and it's going to stick that whole thing on, and this will then, then become a fixed in place unit that I can unscrew from underneath, all looking good. Okay, so we're going to um, waterproof this particular servo. Bought these because they're fairly inexpensive. They've got a good torque level. Um, it's uh, Bluebird high torque, BMS 705 MG. So I'm going to do this in two stages, a bit differently to, to what I've done in the past, in that I'm not going to use Plasti Dip. Instead, I'm going to use um, some sealer for the base, and then I'm going to put oil in the top, and an O-ring at the top of that. And I think that's going to be a pretty good, pretty good model. What I like about this is that you can see through it and it will be nicely uh, visible to all and sundry where the water is and the oil is and everything inside this. So, yes, great, I've already managed to break that. Good start. But all of that is going to be sealed with silicon. Hmm. Okay, going to do a really good job of the silicon around the base. Um, fasten it up then leave it, then my plan is <clears throat> to put a tiny hole right here and I'm going to use a syringe to drop some oil in there and the oil is going to be baby oil. I'm going to fill the whole thing up, seal that up, seal that and that'll finish the job I think. Okay, what's also good about this um, servo is that there's no other joints up there, it's all sealed. It all slots straight in, and I can easily seal that part as well. Okay. That's a disgusting mess. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll put that away for a day. So this syringe is 0.6 of a mil. Um, I've drilled this out, I think 0.8 or something like that, so it's a little bit bigger. And I can see the oil now oozing around the inside of this, it's great. Getting there. It started to come out around the top, which is great. So I'm going to plug that. The idea will be to use one of these anyway. So I'm going to plug that early. That's pulling up nicely around the O-ring. Now that I've done that, I will continue to fill.
what's great about this particular um, item is you can see the you can see the bubbles in it. I can really um, ensure that there is no more air in there. I can see the bubbles coming out through the hole. It's pretty good. Ah, that's interesting. That's getting the bubbles out of that top corner as well. Yep. I don't think I've got any bubbles in there at all now. But I might just leave it for a while. And then we'll epoxy that hole up. And I think I'll be able to say that this is sealed and waterproof.